Sophie and Mindy, and we are here to do the ranges quilt as we continue through uh, this beautiful quilt series. So we missed the walk, didn't we? Yeah, not quite <laughs> sure how it happened, but <laughs> we thank goodness we had one of our um, amazing quilters shoot us over an email and ask us what was going on. We seem to be missing either block 18 or 19, so um, we figured it out. We missed block 18 along the way, and so we are gonna go ahead and jump in and do block 18 today. Um, then we'll fast forward where we are in the lineup and do block 22, is that Correct. right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna switch you over to where Mindy's at, and she's ready to just dive right in. So you're going to show them what we did last week or anything? Or sure, yeah. Going? Nope, I can show them what we did last week. So we did uh, block number 20, which was Possum Way. And that's this one with the uh, instructions. And then the other one we did was Kangaroo Fern. And this is the finished block with that one all cut out. Excellent. Okay. All right. So now we'll hop back to 18. And what happened is I had put together that first quilt. I think you guys saw that hanging last week. And so I was getting the one, this one organized. I started going through everything and uh, understood then that I had somehow uh, missed block 18. So we're doing wallaby grass. It's actually block 16 but not as complicated. Ooh, can you turn off that light? Yes. I think that that's what we found. You okay. can see everything a lot better. So this is going to be wallaby grass, and it's actually block 16, but only two of the rounds. And I think block 16 actually had four rounds. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and mark 24 reference lines here. I'm using my 24-point crosshair square makes it really easy one stop shop if you will so that's the ultimate crosshair square that she's using right now that can be found um, on the so steady site um, and it is available uh, to be able to purchase from any of our nationwide or worldwide resellers. Um, now, as you know, we have a lot of products. So, you know, these are the kind of things that they may not have right there in the store ready to just grab up. Um, but you're able to definitely order them from any of our resellers. Uh, and then, you know, you can do that either um, on our site and pick up in the store for free, or you can certainly go in and ask them for that product. Um, so I will post a link to the Ultimate Crosshair Square right now. All right, so now I'm going to find the center and put my pin in. We had some discussion today about um, how sometimes the pin doesn't want to stay in place. And I didn't know that that was such a problem, but we actually, uh, I think that what we identified was that uh, the folks that were really struggling with it weren't using gliders. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, and that would be very true. That was yeah. my experience early on. Yes. Before I got. Uh, the gliders so yeah because there are some bumps and and cracks especially the the uh feed dogs mm -hmm. yeah because this is right there by the needle so today mindy's going to be using the free motion glider which we have on our website um that's that teflon glider that um that works real great it's a, a 12 by by 18 size uh so it fills the space really nicely um, and it's got the circular cutout. We do have a few other gliders um, that we offer now as well. We've got our ruler work glider uh, that's made as a, out of polyester material. And then we have our grid glider. The grid glider does not cover up the feed dogs, um, but it does have, you know, a lot of other cool little things on it. 
uh, for doing all kinds of different sewing projects. Okay, so what I want to do is, you know, let's go back to the this table real fast because I can't really show them at the sewing machine. But uh, block 16 starts out with the four corners and then it does uh, the two uh, sides, okay? So we're going to be making eight rotations, if you will, and we're going to be making circles, and then within those circles, we're going to be making the diamonds. So um, if you remember block 16, then it went on to this very complex design. So we're not getting that complex with it. We're going to be doing the simplified version. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to start with T1, and we're going to be going around and making our circles on all four corners. Uh, and then we'll be using T2 to make the diamonds in the middle of the circles, okay? So here we go. All right, let me turn, turn this camera. light on. There we go. Here we go. Camera switch back over to that one. All right. So we're going to start uh, by doing our corners first. All right. So I think it may be easier if we come up a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think we can all see that a little bit better. Okay. But we see your hand in a big way. I, I yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. I do need my hand. <laughs> yeah, the hands are important for this process. Let's see here. All right. I'm bringing up my bobbin thread first and then we're going to go ahead and do our um, center circle stitch our center circle so let me do that Move this around here get that bobbin thread out of the way I still have my pink chalk on everything from a few times ago pink really likes to stick around all right so we're going to go ahead and do this corner first and let's put this let me get it on here why isn't it there it is there we go okay so we're going to do that right there and we're going to go ahead all right let's turn it so i can see now we're going to go ahead and get it, um, let's see here, I need to finish this one, but you know, let, I'm going to get my 18 point so I can finish that one that's in the corner, and it's just not in a good position to do it here. So let's put this on like that. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish that off up here. Now we're going to go ahead and put this back on here. We're going to get that on that reference line, and this will complete that circle. And when you're coming to make your circle, just touch your stitching and then move on. You don't need to double dip into it. It just makes it cleaner if you don't. Not that it's wrong. All right. So now we're um, going to go. Let me get my bobbin threads out of my way here. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to move down here. And uh, the, the instructions would have you do the four 
corners, finish that, and then come do the sides. I just find it more efficient to do all of the same things at one time. So I'm moving right here right now. And we're going to go ahead and do our circles here. All right, so now we're going to have to walk this over. And we're going to go ahead and put it this way now and get it even farther over. Okay, there we go. Oops have it there and then I moved it there we go all right so here we're going back to make our circles okay so see that light is in my way there Okay, now we're going to come over to this corner right here, and we're going to put the uh, template on the chalk reference line, follow our center around. Turn it around. There we are. Oops. All right. Get that on that center line, on the reference line. here to the side get it on the line follow the center circle okay gonna have to walk it down Excuse me. sign is where it needs to be and it's not so we're going to go a little bit farther over now it's where it needs to be so we're going to just go okay now we're going to come over to the corner one. And we're just getting that reference line that's right there going into the corner. Which template are you using? I'm using T1. T1 right now. That's the Tacoma series. T1 is the template. I'll put the link actually to the uh, Rachel's book, which is what she's working out of, as well as the uh, Tacoma template. So we do have a couple of different ways to go about purchasing the template um, set and the book. Um, you can purchase the a um,
Okay, we're just going to go over here to the corner now, or the side, I mean, not the corner. All right, there we are. So we're just going to press up against the center, go around that circle. Now we're going to start our circle again. Walk this down. Put our tempo back on. And I still need to be farther down. Right there. to the corner again last corner walk it around the circle line there. And last circle coming up here. Right on our reference line. All right, so now all of our T1 work is done. We've got all eight of our circles. Now we're going to go to our T2, and we're going to be making the, um, the uh, let me show you here. We're going to be making the diamonds inside of those circles, okay? So we're going to do that by putting the, uh, top of the clamshell on the center line of each of our circles. So let me go ahead and get my T2 here. And let's get started. So since I'm already here, let's go ahead and just do that uh, right that right? I don't know. Uh, okay, we no. got a good question. Yes. Um, I got the Tacoma set for my long arm. Since the sew head moves, suggestions on how to stabilize the pin 
falls out. So we do include with the long arm rulers some pen keepers uh, because knowing that you you will have um, oftentimes up on a frame and so the pen has more likely chance of falling out as you you know do movement. Uh, so I would definitely encourage you to, to look for the black pen keepers that should be within that template set for the long arm. If you didn't get them, then we're happy to get them out to you. Okay, I'm ready to start doing the uh, T2 work. And a couple things I want to point out. Uh, we're going to make sure that the top of your uh, stitch line is on the center reference line of that circle. So you're going to be lining up your reference line on the um, reference line that is to the right and to the left of the circle that we're going through. Also, as you're doing this, and you're working within the circle, stop when you get to the stitch line of the circle and then move on to your next one. That, I mean, because you could go beyond it, but to have the look that you really want, you want to stop at your stitch line. All right, so now we're going to take this and we're going to repeat that on the other side and I'm going to get that lined up on that reference line over there and because we're at the very top here we're going to walk it over and I'm going to turn this because I really can't see what I'm doing there so let's go ahead and do it like yep I'm on the reference line okay Okay, and then we're going to take this and uh, I'm going to try to just get it down to the circle here. There we go. All right. So now we're going to take our T1 again because I want to go around the circle to get to my next position. And the T2 is a smaller head in the middle, so you really can't follow that circle around. Uh, to get you where you want to be. So let's uh, let's see. We're going to just follow it to the reference line that is to the right of our next set of circles. So right there. Okay. So now, where is it? There we go. All right. So let's put this one here All right just need to go a little bit further okay there we go now I've got my uh, template on my reference line okay so here we go in the opposite direction and line up on the reference line that's to the other side of the circle. There we are. Okay, so now we're going to get that T2 or a T1 back in here because it's got the fat section of the circle. And we're just going to come down here. 
to about where that next reference line is. Take our T2. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Put it on here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So here we go. Over and get it on that reference line. Okay, so now we're going to walk it over. center line all right we're gonna just follow it over here okay let's put that on right here so this center line is on my reference line on my fabric line there okay okay so there was a question that says it looks like the t1 only um to make the circles on the diagonal line then the t2 to make the diamond then in round two they use t2 to make the circles on the straight line then t1 to make the diamonds in the circles am i looking at the wrong page in the book on the uh Oh no, you're right. I did I did it all the same though. Oh. Okay. So so yes. You are correct. The uh clearly the outcome is the same, oh, but you know. See, I love it when my mom does it a little different for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do my own thing. So sorry. Since the beginning of following Leomi's instructions, she's always kind of beat to her own drum. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you were able to do the same, so that's interesting. So well, it. it's the same. It's uh, they're in, they would be in different positions, okay? Because they're offsetting clamshells, yeah. right? So you just swapped it and did the opposites, kind of. So no, these are all the same circles. The circles are all in the same thing, but yeah. if you alternated, your circles would be half off. Oh yeah, so you just got them at the same level, right? Okay, right. So we'll show the, the design on the page is going to look a little different than what Mindy's created, but that's okay. It's, that's what you call creative play. Well, yes. I just found, there we go. Okay. So this is T1. So let's get to T2 here. Okay. So now we're going to do Oh 
Okay. Just going to turn it around. And make sure I'm on the right thing. There we go. Okay, we're going to walk this over. And we're just going to keep going around and around. There we go. Now we're going to get T1 back on there. Okay, T2. Okay, and there we go. All right, so now I'm going to scooch over just a little bit more. There we go. All right. Reference line. one coming up. should be. Okay. 
All right. And there you be have it. That is block 18, folks. Let's go ahead and bring that up and we'll break thread. And we'll go back to the other, um, to the ironing table. So there that is. I'll do my cutting and I'll show that to you next week. All right. So now let's put that to the side and we'll go to our mountain ash. <clears throat> and uh, this one, we're going to be making 48 marks. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our uh, stuff out here. Get our crosshair square here. And there we go. Let's go ahead and mark. 24 in the white chalk, and then we'll use my favorite pink chalk for the other. All right, now let me find my pink marker. I'm not in this drawer. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put this back in place, but we're going to rotate. Half a mark here, and I've got my center in that center that I've marked there. Okay, so now I'm going to mark these. Okay, I think I got them all. Let's do that one there. All right, that's a lot of markings. So let's go ahead and go to 22 in the book and let's read what the description says here. All right, so what she wants us to do. All oh, lines are not used. The arrow show which lines are used to align the template. All right. So as we would go around, it says, so we're using uh, only T1. That's all we're using. And we're going to be going through and uh, we're actually overlapping. So she's not using it as a clamshell. She's using it to make the diamond design. And we're going to be flipping, it looks like, eight times around. 
because the arrows are showing where we're going to be lining up. She's used dark arrows on the corners, but okay, we'll take the book with us. We're going to get the uh, pen in the center here. And there we go. Let's see if I can bring it up to the center without move, removing a lot of my chalk. Always fun here. Okay. Well, um, that's not quite center. Let's get it. I think I can do better than that. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's center. Okay, let's go back to the sewing machine now. And on this one, we're only using T1, so I'm going to get rid of my T2 so that I don't grab it in by mistake. So let's put that over here. I think what we'll do is start on a corner. Um, there we go. Okay. So using the book as the reference, it's not the center line, but it's the two pink lines on either side of the corner. So it's these two that I'm going to be lining up on. And I'm going to be pointing the... Um, clamshells to the center. So not making circles. We're going to be making those diamonds. All right. So, and we do uh, want, yeah, we do want to uh, make our circle as always in the center. So let's start there. So let's go ahead and put that down here. Put the foot down. Put up, bring up my bobbin thread. There we go. Put the foot back down. And we will proceed with making our circle. Okay. Okay, so now, as I started to say, we're going to be doing this corner here. And so we're lining that uh, middle reference line on the template on the pink reference line to the side of the corner uh, marking. Okay, now we're going to take this, come back around here, and now we're going to be lining this one up on the left side pink marking. So we're, um, we're going to be cutting this down, so we're just going to... are going to be in the way here just a sec okay there we go all 
All right. So there's our first one. And it looks like we've got eight rotations there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, 12. Okay. So now we're going to take, uh, if, what is it? Is it every other one? Yeah. So we're just going from one pink uh, marking to the next and going to uh, make it in the opposite direction. So we're going to go right down here. We use that marking, so we're not going to use that. We're going to use this one right here. So let's get that on there. So here we go. direction and I gotta be able to see this so I'm gonna have to walk this up okay now let's go ahead and put that back on and we're gonna be marking yeah, I've got to go further Okay, so I used it that way, so now we're going to be using it this way. No, that's making circles. So I did that one, that one I did incorrectly. So let's get, let me get started here. That one, is that right? Because I was on this one, and I went, oops, let's get it going the right direction. Okay, so I was on this one, and I went that way. That was correct. So now I'm on this one, going this way, and then this one going this way. Yeah, there we go. thought I did that right. Okay, just a moment of self-doubt. No problem. Here we go. Okay. So now we're going to take this and we're not going to, we're going to use this pink one right here. So it's just a couple of stitches are at the center we're going to line this up this way and here we go on here and we're going to be walking it up here we're gonna get that on that reference line right there and now yeah that's it okay Using that one, we're using this one. That should be right. Get on the reference line. Sorry. There we go. All 
I need to be farther up over here, so we're going to walk that up. Okay, right there is where I want to be. be done one two three four five six so we're halfway there okay just gonna come over here get that on there further over right there okay
right there. Okay. This one. there. All right, one last one. guys looks like we're done let's go ahead and lay that up, that up cut our thread 
and let's go back over to the sewing table or the uh, pressing table so we can see the final shot here. So there it is, block number 22. Oh, let me take you over to that table. All right. I think it's easier to see with that light off. Oh, I thought it would, it would light up the uh, dark fabric. Yeah, I just think it's too much glare, maybe. But that is the final design. And did you already have those completed that you can show us? Um, no, they're in my quilt. Oh. <laughs> it is uh, now bound, but not finished. Oh, so close to a finished quilt. That's so exciting. Well, those were our two designs today. And this Tacoma ruler, you can see, is just creating mm -hmm. all kinds of awesome designs oh someone said it was like the egg and dark dart design mm -hmm. circular yeah so true well we are um, excited to have you join us again back here next thursday uh, for another class and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you then so thank you so much everyone uh, we did announce the winner to the luna class series that's the class series that um, we're offering um, starting on the 15th of June um, that uses the Tacoma template set. So if you're interested in jumping into another class, if you've been kind of following along and doing this quilt project, then Aluna will be another great one. Uh, it's by Janet Collins. She has a written pattern or book that you get with it. Um, and you'll be able to take part in the class series as well. So, again, that starts on June 15th. Um, so we'll hope that you can, to, can join us for that class series as well. And I'll just direct you to our events page to find that. Um, and you'll see a whole bunch of other events that are coming up as well. So thank you so much for continuing to, to join us on our lives and our events. And we'll look forward to having you on one there soon. Bye-bye.